everyone lives in a different world. And uh, there's the world that we read about and have an experience with that we read about in the newspapers where there's death, there's wars, there's rumors of wars, there's the um, eroding rainforests, the ozone, there's Darfur, genocide in other places, slavery, there's all manner of things that go on in the human experience. And one of the best ways to walk in that world is to ask, how can I serve? When you ask the question, how can you serve, what you begin to see are opportunities, places where you can give your gift. And as you begin to give your gift, whatever your gift is, everyone has something to give. There's no one that's uh, depleted of essence and gift. When we ask, how can I serve, we see a different world. We begin to see a world of opportunities to express ourselves. And then we understand that we're not here to save the world. We're here to serve an emerging paradigm. We're here to serve something that's trying to emerge at this time in human history. When you look at the development of the human race, there's always been, these are the last days in time. This is it. You go to the, you go to the uh, library and you go through headlines of the newspapers. Uh, there was a, new, a newspaper headline that said, the world civilization as we know it is coming to an end. There are no more wild Mustangs. I mean, that was a headline at one point. You know what I mean? That the, the Mustangs had been they're gone. And so civilization was about to end. But of course, there was the advent of the automobile. You know? um, and so there's always been, it's coming to an end, it's coming to an end. But there's been an, an evolution of consciousness. Now, of course, now we're living in a time where our technological advancements are definitely, have definitely outstripped our spiritual advancements in mass, but there are individuals who have kept pace with that. Now, the beautiful thing about it is this. Thought forms that are emerging from a sense of connection are much more powerful than thought forms that are emerging from a sense of separation. So a few individuals that are holding the space for the possibility and that are vibrating at that level mitigates and neutralizes the negativity that thousands of people are holding. So places like Omega where people are coming and retooling their spirit to the vision of possibility and other sacred sites and sacred centers where people are beginning to see the possibilities they're kind of like not only midwives, but they're kind of like places that are holding the template of what's trying to emerge. Very important work so that there can be a birth of the next stage of human evolution. So if someone were to ask me, are we going to make it? My feeling, whatever that means, is that yes. Um, first of all, we're not going to destroy the earth because the earth will kick us off before that happens. You know, <laughs> like a pest of some kind. The difficulty is this. The media, as is, it is today, they are reporting from a dying paradigm. And they have the technology to report from a dying paradigm, and the technology to report from the emerging paradigm is not as powerful yet. So the media to report from what is emerging is not as powerful as the media that's reporting from the dying. So it looks like everything is dying. So right now, you have different media that's now emerging that's starting to deal with the possibilities, different kinds of healing, different kinds of business practices, different kinds of ways of being in relationship, generosity, philanthropy. And so I've often said that if we could have a mirror that's large enough to show all of the good work that's happening, we can look at ourselves in the mirror and see all of the good work that's happening, we'll be shocked as to how well we're doing. 